Hey guys, it's Tasman here from Tasman's Crochet Creations and for this tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet this cute little mountain keychain. Isn't it just adorable? This keychain is really good as it makes for a really good gift for any adventurer out there. If you have a loved one that loves hiking and loves the mountains and loves the outdoors, this is the keychain for them. They would love this. And I have also noticed that there is a lot of you who watch my videos that aren't subscribed. So what the hell are you doing in your life? Hit that subscribe button. You will not miss a thing. Come on. <laughs> Come on, guys. Like, really? There's so many of you who watch my, my videos, who watch my channel on a daily ba basis, who aren't subscribed. Subscribe. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to hurt you. It's just going to take a second out of your time. It'll benefit you and it'll benefit me. I'm offering a service. I'm offering what you guys love to watch on a daily basis. And with that being said, let's get started with the materials. Okay, so to crochet this mountain keychain, the materials that we'll be using is a 2mm crochet hook. This is just to get the stitches nice and tight. Um, yeah, so we'll be using a 2mm crochet hook. You'll also be needing a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and you'll need a um, pair of scissors to push uh, the pillow stuffing in. You'll need some jewelry pliers. Um, you'll need a keychain and a jump ring. And then as for the, the yarn that we'll be using, I'll be using this silver grey yarn. It is charity DK weight yarn. Um, yeah, it's a charity DK weight yarn. Um, it is 100% acrylic and it is 233 meters or approximately 256 yards. Obviously, this has been, um, um, this ball has been used a bit. Um, I don't have the label, but I know my yarn very well. Um, so that's the silver grey yarn. And then we'll also be needing some white just for the snow on the mountains. And then we'll also be needing some pillow stuffing, which I actually forgot to get. <laughs> um, so you'll need some pillow stuffing. You don't need this much, of course, but... You'll need some pillow stuffing so we can stuff our little mountain keychain. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to get started on our mountain keychain, we're going to take our silver grey yarn and we're going to form a slip knot. So the way in which we do that is we take our working yarn and we take our two fingers and you're going to take your yarn, you're going to hold your thumb down with you're going to hold your your tail end down with your with your thumb then you're going to take your working on wrap it around your your two fingers once and then the second time you're going to cross over to form an x okay and then you're going to flip to the back and then you're going to insert your hook under the front loop and then pick up the second loop then take your slip knot off your fingers and then you're going to pull on your tail end and your working yarn to form a slip knot. Yeah, so there we go. And your slip knot does not ever count as a stitch, it's just a loop on your hook to get started. Okay, and then from here we are going to do 21 chains. So we're going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. So okay, so we're going to yarn over and pull through to do a chain. So that's three, four, Twenty and then one more twenty one. Okay, so now I have twenty one chains, and now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work over. To reveal these back bumps. Okay. You're going to work into these back bumps of the chain. 
So we're going to skip this first chain that is closest to our hook. And we're going to go straight into the second chain here. We're going to go into that back loop of that second chain. So we're going to insert our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two to do a single crochet. So again, you're going to go into the back loop of the next chain. You're going to yarn over, pull through, then you're going to yarn over and pull through two to do your single crochet. And you'll just repeat this all the way along your chain. And you should have a total of 20 stitches by the end of this round. Our chain that we skipped at the beginning of the chain, that will act as a turning chain. And also we actually physically cannot work into that chain because it's still connected to the loop on our hook. Okay. Yeah, so you can just place one single crochet into each stitch around. So now I'm just coming up to the last three stitches of my chains. Okay, so now I have finished crocheting all of the single crochets. Well, I've finished crocheting into each of those chains. And it should have a total of 20 stitches. So if we had to count, um, if we had to count these little V's, um, we have one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn, and then we are going to do a decrease. So the way in which we do a decrease, okay, so we are going to do a decrease in the first, over the next first two stitches. So we're going to insert our hook and then we're going to catch just that front loop of that first stitch. Then we're going to twist our hook down and insert the, the you're going to insert your hook into the front loop of the next stitch. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through both of those front loops. And then we're going to have two loops on, on our hook. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through two to finish off our single crochet decrease. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next 18 stitches. Into the next 18 stitches. So place one single crochet into the next 16 stitches my bad we'll have 18 stitches by the end of this round but we'll we'll work into the next 16 stitches so that leaves us with two stitches left and then we'll do a decrease over these last two stitches so we're going to insert our hook into that front loop of that next stitch then we're going to twist our hook down and insert our hook into the front loop of the next stitch then we're going to yarn over and pull through and then we're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops to finish off our single crochet okay that's what it should be looking like now then we're going to turn our work and then we're going to place one single crochet into each stitch across and your stitch count should have gone down from 20 down to 18 by the end of that previous round and because we are just placing one single crochet in each stitch across here our stitch count should remain the same as 18 single crochets. Okay, so we are, we are doing a decrease on either side of the mountain to give it its shape. Okay, but for this round, we are, for this row, we are just placing one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay. 
and then again we're going to turn our work and then we're going to place a single crochet we're going to place a sorry we're going to do a decrease a single crochet decrease over the first two stitches again so you're going to insert under that front loop of the first stitch and you're going to twist your hook down and insert your hook through that front loop of the next stitch then you're going to yarn over pull through two and then yarn over and pull through two okay then you're going to place one single crochet into the next 14 And then we're going to do another decrease so we're going to insert our hook under that front loop of the next stitch twist our hook down pick up that front loop of the next stitch then you're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops come on go through there you go <laughs> yeah then you're going to yarn over and then pull through those two loops to finish off your single crochet okay then you're going to turn your work and your stitch count would have gone down from 18 to 16 by that last round and then for this round again we're just going to place one single crochet um, across and you should have a total stitch count of 16 okay so it should remain the same as the previous round and this is essentially the pattern that will be um, that we'll be doing throughout this mountain we'll be doing a decrease row then a single crochet row, a decrease row, a single crochet row until we get to um, the snowy part at the top of the mountain. Okay. And then you'll do it your decrease again into that last stitch. Actually, no, we're not. Are we? Just one single crochet in each stitch across. Okay, then we're going to turn our work. We're going to turn our work and then we're going to do another decrease over the first two stitches. So you're going to pick up that front loop. And then the front loop of the next stitch. And then we'll place one single crochet into the next 12 stitches. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then we'll do a decrease again. Okay, then we do a decrease again. Okay, then you're going to turn our work, and your stitch count should have gone down from 16 down to 14 by the end of that round. Okay, and now we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch across, and our stitch count should remain the same as 14 single crochets okay we have six more rows until we end off the gray and start working on the snowy peak of the mountain and then again we are going to decrease yeah we're going to decrease the first two stitches and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next 10 stitches so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And then we'll do another decrease over those last two stitches there. Okay, then we're going to turn our work again. And then we're going to place one single crochet into each stitch across. Okay, 
And then for the next round, we're going to turn and then again, we are going to decrease the first two stitches together. Okay. And then we will place one single crochet into the next eight stitches. turn our work and then we're going to place one single crochet into each stitch across and your stitch count should have gone down from 12 down to 10 so for this round uh for this row sorry um we're going to place one single crochet into each stitch around and our stitch count should remain the same as 10 stitches Yeah, then you're going to turn your work and then we're going to do another decrease round so we're going to decrease the first two stitches again or decrease over the first two stitches and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next six stitches one two three four five and six and then we're going to do another decrease. Yeah. And then we are, then our stitch count should have gone down from 10 to 8 by the end of that round, that row, sorry. <laughs> then we're going to turn and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next, sorry, we're going to place one single crochet into each stitch across. And a stitch count should remain the same as eight stitches. Okay. And then after we have completed um, those eight stitches, we are now ready to end off this gray. So we can grab our scissors and we can snip our gray yarn. I'm going to yarn over and pull that, yarn, that loop through your hook to do a chain one basically and we'll just pull up and out and then there we go there is the mountain part done we just need to do the little snow on the top okay so let's grab our white okay so let's grab our white and then what we're going to do is we're going to first create a slip knot so like we've done before we're going to take our yarn I put around our two fingers and then cross over the second time and then we're going to insert our hook under that front loop pick up that second loop and then take our magic ring off our fingers hold our working yarn our working yarn and our tail end and pull tight okay now we have a slip knot on our hook okay and then we are going to go straight into a decrease yeah, so this can be a little bit tricky so um, we have turned our work and we're ready to go into the next stitch here so we're going to insert our hook into that front loop like we normally would twist the hook down yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through two to finish off your single crochet okay so that's a decrease there then we're going to place one single crochet in the next four stitches so that's one, two, three, whoopsie, three and four. And then we'll have two stitches remaining and then we'll do a decrease in there. Okay. 
and then our stitch count should have gone down from eight down yeah from eight down to six okay then we're going to turn our work okay and now this is where it gets interesting now is where we start to add the little like snow like like dripping down the mountain so we're going to use the spike stitch so the spark stitch is basically like an elongated single crochet stitch it's just a long single crochet stitch okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do a spark stitch into um three rows below so we're going to count three rows so this white row is one two and three so where this stitch is just down here so we we our first stitch is we're going to count down three rows from there so one two three so i'm going to insert my hook over here so you're going to insert your hook through there then you're going to yarn over pull through okay so that's what it should be looking like then you're going to yarn over and pull through two to finish off your single crochet okay so that's what it looks like then you're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch then you're going to do a spark stitch into the fourth row below so again you're going to count one two three four and then we'll insert our hook into this stitch here okay so we're going to skip the one stitch from here and then go down one so one two three four Wait, I did this other spark stitch wrong. <laughs> okay, so I actually put it into the fourth row. So we go one, two, and three. So this stitch here, okay, just two rows be below this one here. So we're going to skip this white one, skip this gray one, and then we're going to go into this third row here. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, then we're going to yarn over, pull through two. Okay. and then we're going to place one single crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to do a spark stitch into the fourth fourth row below so it's one two three and then four so into here to there you're going to insert your hook into there you're going to yarn over pull through and you're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops to finish off that spark stitch there yeah. then you're going to place one single crochet into the next stitch again and then you're going to place a spark stitch into the fifth sorry into the fifth row um from you're going to insert your hook into the fifth row below this one so you're going to go one two three four and five all the way down here okay so you're going to insert your hook all the way down there Gonna yarn over, pull through, and then you're gonna pull up. Okay. And then I'm gonna yarn over and pull through. Okay, that one is a little bit loose. And pull through. Okay, so that's what it should be looking like. And then we're going to do one more spark stitch and then again we're going to place a spark stitch into the third row so we're going to skip this white row and then in the we're going to skip the white row the next row and then the row below that we're going to go into that stitch there you're going to yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through two to do to finish off your spark stitch single crochet okay so that's what it should be looking like now okay now it's starting to look like um little snow on the mountain a little bit okay then we're going to turn our work okay and our stitch count should have remained the same as six stitches so we can count quickly so that's one two three four five and six stitches okay then we're going to turn our work then we're going to do a decrease so we're going to decrease the first two stitches together And then you're gonna place one single crochet in the next two stitches so that's one and two and then you will decrease again 
Yeah. And then by the end of that round, your stitch count should have gone down from six down to two. Then we're going to turn our work again. Then we're going to place one single crochet into each stitch around, sorry, into each stitch across. I keep getting confused. I keep doing so many amigurumis, so I keep forgetting that I'm actually working in, in the row and not in around. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so I've uh, single crocheted across and your stitch count should remain the same as four single crochets. Then we're going to turn and we're going to do our last decrease around. Okay. So we're going to turn our work and we're going to decrease the first two stitches and then decrease the next two stitches or the last two stitches. And now there are no stitches in between. So it's just one decrease in the last in each of the next four. Yeah. Okay, so now we are finished. So now you can snip your yarn. Okay, and then you can go off and complete the the second one exactly like this. But for your second one, do not snip your yarn. You will use that to work around the the what would you call it the mountain and joining the mountain together okay so go ahead work your second one but do not end off do not end off okay yes yeah, so you can go off and you can uh, go and do that um i have actually already made my first one as i'm sure you've gathered already um so now i will show you what to do next I think I like this side better. Doesn't that look that doesn't that side look a little bit better than the side? I think it looks a little bit better. Okay. So once you have completed um this uh this side, we are going to chain one and then I'm gonna turn because I really like the way this side looks um yeah so we're going to place these back to back um okay so we're going to place these back to back like this and then we are going to place um two single crochets in the corner and one single crochet in each stitch until the last stitch of the white okay so i'm going to find that first stitch on the top here there and I'm gonna uh, um, leave my tail ends as they are I'm not going to sew them in because I'm going to um, tuck them into the inside of the mountain okay so we are going to place two single crochets into each stitch to each stitch here at the top Okay, and then we are just going to, um, we are just going to place a single crochet across the edge. So I'm just going to, neatly as I can, just place one single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch around here just as neatly as I can yeah. okay okay and now I'm getting to the white the last white stitch here so I'm going to insert my hook into that last white stitch and then I'm going to drop my white and then get my gray again get my gray and then I'm just going to place my gray yarn on top of my hook and then I'm just going to yarn over and pull that through wait 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 <laughs> mess this up okay so we're going to insert a hook into that last stitch of the white then we're going to yarn over pull through and then we are going to add our gray yarn 
Okay, so I'm going to yarn over with my grey yarn. I yarn over, pull that through. Okay. And then we can just place one single crochet again evenly into each stitch around. Okay, and again with all of these tail ends, I'm just going to tuck them inside of the, the mountain. Yeah, so I'm not going to work over them, I'm just going to tuck them inside. Okay, so you just want to place one single crochet um, into each, kind of like in each row across now. And now I'm at the corner and I'm going to place two single crochets into the corner here. Okay, and then just crochet into each chain across here at the bottom of the mountain. Yeah, so again at the corner you would just place two single crochets into that corner stitch and then you would just continue uh, placing one single crochet um, into each stitch around and again I'm just gonna just shove these tail ends into the mountain So I think at about here, I'm going to start stuffing. Okay, so I'm just going to pull up my yarn here, and I'm just going to tuck in uh, just tuck in those tail ends. Okay, let me just grab some stuffing. Okay, so now I have my stuffing ready. And now it is time to start stuffing our um, our mountain keychain. So I'm just going to grab some stuffing, and then I'm just going to grab um, uh, my scissors, and I'm just going to start stuffing this thing. So you want to make sure you get into all of the corners.
Okay, I just want to try and make sure that you get some stuffing into the corners as well. Oopsie. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit more stuffing. take a little bit out okay so here we go I don't really want too much in here So now what we're going to do is we're just going to continue crocheting this closed. Okay. Let's just zoom back in here. Okay. So I'm just going to continue crocheting this closed. And you just want to kind of push the stuffing down with your fingers. You don't exactly want to catch any of the stuffing into your stitches. Okay, so I'm almost at the white again. Okay, so now I need to now color change to white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to snip off this white yarn. Okay, so I'm going to snip off this white yarn. And then again, um, we are now going to close this up now. So I'm going to grab my white and I'm going to lay that on top of my crochet hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull that through. I'm going to tug on my grey yarn. And then I'm just going to continue um, placing one single crochet into each stitch along the side. Okay, I think I need to maybe add a little bit more stuff in here at the top here.
so now I've stuffed the tip a little bit more um, so now I am so now I'm just going to carry on crocheting this closed okay so This part is the trickiest crocheting around this mountain. Okay, doing the last stitch now. Yeah, and then when you've finished, you're just going to slip stitch to the beginning. So you're just going to find that first stitch that you did. You're going to yarn over and pull that through. Okay, let me do that again. So you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch that you made. You're going to yarn over, pull through, and then pull through that loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. Okay. And then I'm just going to snip off my yarn. Then we can snip our yarn and pull up and pull out. Okay, now that is our little rainbow keychain finished. I'm just going to push some of this stuffing back up into the top of the mountain here. So you can also snip off that grey yarn and now it's time to weave in our tail ends so we can grab our darning needle and we can start sewing in our tail ends. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our tapestry needle, we're going to thread our tapestry needle and then we are just going to, so just for this one, going to insert the needle into that like top stitch there. And then down into the mountain and just pull that a little bit tight okay and then I'm just gonna insert my needle into the same stitch I came out of and then out somewhere else And again, okay. and then you would just repeat that for all of the for all of the tailings. Yeah. 
now I am back and I have finished um, sewing in all of my tailings. And now the only thing left to do now is just add the, what's it called, the jump ring and the keychain. So you just want to grab your pliers, your keychain and your jump ring. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the jump ring. We're just going to insert it into the top of a stitch. Okay. So I'm actually going to try and like insert it not just into the top of the stitch, but like through like the whole, um, the whole like first round, if that makes any sense. Just to like extra secure it. There we go. Okay, so you're going to add your jump ring and then you're just going to lay the keychain in there like so. And then you're just going to take your jewellery pliers and just squeeze it closed. Okay, and then you're just going to squeeze. I like to just squeeze the jump ring a little bit more so that it just secures it a little bit better because these jump rings can easily just split okay there we go so i'm just gonna do that and then there we go there is our little um, mountain keychain complete i hope you guys enjoyed learning how to crochet this cute little key this cute little keychain and really hope you enjoyed learning how to um use the spike stitch um, so yeah, it's just a nice like little variation. Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe or even share my channel. It really, really helps. And I really appreciate each and every one of you um, for taking the time to watch my tutorial. And I hope you learn some new things. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting.